All right, let's jump into OMG today. And I don't mean, oh my gosh, this is a token that a few people are watching. Obviously, it's breaking loose. My name is Paul Barron. Welcome back to Tech Path. All right, occasionally we'll do these market movers. We're going to give you some breakdown on some trends that are happening in a space. We'll also look at some data, which is our proprietary data, where we'll look at some sentiment. But the best thing of all, is it's going to get you going in the right direction for maybe a project that you should be watching. And of course, it's not investment advice. So just be aware of all that good stuff. Let's jump over to live. Let's see what our live number is right here. Market cap currently, ooh, man, we're so close. 1.9 trillion volume is holding in at 65 billion, which is down a little bit. And Bitcoin has now moved into the 43K mark. This is insane. When you look at where Bitcoin is going and the market overall, there's been a couple of things that have kind of pointed to where Bitcoin could break out. And one of them was, of course, this tweet by Plan B. Let me kind of jump back over here to his tweet. It's, it's insane how close he is on these numbers. All Again, this is not the stock to flow model that he was looking at. This is based on on-chain data. And if you look at his tweet back here from June 20th, his numbers were dead on. August ended at 47K. September, here we are in the end of September, and it looks like we're going to close at 43K or above. October, his point is 63K. November, 98K. And December, 135K if this holds out. It's going to be very close to what our end of year 100K number and prediction is still continuing to hold. Again, that's been based on sentiment and amplification across many of the projects and uh, tokens that we watch. So, you know, kind of keep close eyes on that. And of course, we'll do these uh, analysis on an ongoing basis. So OMG is the one I want to jump to right now. OMG Network, it's a layer two scaling solution. It basically enhances the Ethereum blockchain transactions. Also, they announced this release of the Boba Network, which is the core development project of the foundation. This is a new solution for scaling Ethereum that is developed by basically the same team. Uh, based, you've got you know, OMG price trading at 11.23, a 24-hour trading volume jumped. And in a nutshell, both OMG, OMG and also if you're following Binance Coin have both proved their stability during a time when we've seen a little bit of softness in the market. So that is one element of OMG. I, we have looked at this project before. It's not one that I'm a big fan of. I don't own it. Um, but at the same time, there's so many projects, especially in the altcoin space, that get light of day and also get on these runs and will just take off. Now, can they sustain and can they look forward to maybe kind of a new evolution? I want to look at the Boba Network launch, which is really, this is the public mainnet. This is the layer two roll up that they're looking to do. Of course, this just launched here, Boba Network, next generation Ethereum scaling, publicly available. It's going to be open sourced optimism code base. Boba Network it aims to deliver a faster, cheaper, and more seamless experience for the next billion users of Ethereum. So this, to me, is in preparation of what ETH 2.0 is going to be doing. And in addition, the public mainland launch, the foundation is also going to re release their token, which is going to be Boba, uh, to support the decentralized governance of the network itself. So you're going to have that project that's going to come live. And I think as we see more activity, especially as E2O starts to get into a real position here. Boba could be an interesting token to watch. So that's going to be another one that I'd put on my watch list. In support of the Boba mainnet, OMG Foundation is releasing a new governance token. This is the Boba token, and it will be airdropped to existing OMG token holders. So if you do want to buy it just for that purpose, I think that would be an interesting, you know, track in. Boba Network by a snapshot date later next month. It's going to be done on FTX one of the largest crypto exchanges out there, which is already committed to support the airdrop and additional changes to follow. So I think that is going to be a good move. Also, the mainnet itself, the rollout, I think that is part of the news hype that we've started to see around OMG. And just in general, I think because of its connectivity to ETH and really kind of the evolution of where ETH is going, many of these, especially when you look at what's happening in the NFT space and, and still ETH being the 800-pound gorilla or ape in this case, those kinds of, of projects that really can kind of latch on to that and really accelerate with it in terms of the growth and have a scalability roadmap, those are the ones to watch. So OMG, maybe as it gets closer, 
The main net is going to be interesting to me. I think that could be a rollout because that's going to open up some options for some unbelievable development in these areas. And that's the other thing that's happening is the rails are starting to be built. And it's much like the early days of the internet. You knew these startups would eventually start to develop faster. They just needed the rails. And at that time, it was the internet. And then what we saw, which was World Wide Web, and then what we saw was the next evolution of open uh, internet, and then we saw social media, you know, all those kind of things start to really kind of ramp up. The difference with cryptocurrency and blockchain is all of this is going to be happening so much faster. The speed to market ramp and really minimum viable product, the MVPs are going to happen so much quicker in many of these projects. So be on the lookout for those. I want to jump over to the chart and just take a look at OMG in general. This is on a Coinbase analysis right here. We're on the one hour. Let's take a look back here at a sentiment pull we did in September 21st, running through the 22nd, held on at 62, uh, 62.31. AMP was soft at 50.12, and of course, when AMP is soft like that, you will see sideways chop, and that's essentially what happened with OMG. However, now we're looking at some very interesting and different scenarios. Right here, you pull this on the 28th. We hear the news. We start to see the movement. Sentiment was 64.11, up slightly, but look at the AMP jump from 50.12 to 60.57. This is a big move. Now, the likelihood is this is going to get some more air under it from a sentiment, which will create that network effect. It creates that frenzy, and you do get that FOMO scenario. So I want you guys to be very cautious on these things. Remember, this is not investment advice, but it's, hopefully it gets you going in the way of understanding what OMG is really all about. I want you to dive in a little bit tighter to what's happening over on the mainnet with Boba and also some of the development projects that start to move on this, especially as you watch this fly. If you look at the sentiment layer, though, it is holding within our analysis of where this could potentially go. It has a little bit of a dip right here or a sideways action that could maintain that 11.62 price, which is really where it's hovering right around $12 right now. But what you've got here is kind of this little floor that's developing around 12.50 and the potential of where this might be going. And that's upwards of maybe 14 to 15 because there is a good trajectory here, providing that we don't see this floor kind of drop in right there at 12.30 and just kind of hold. What we need to uh, analyze on this, especially as we get out into late, late next week with this particular token, is whether or not we get another significant dip so we can pull a sentiment bubble on that and really take a little, little bit tighter, close look on this. That's the way I would be playing this. If I was looking at buying this token, I would be a little cautious on coming in right at this point. Let's look at the more of the backwards. Let's go to the six month, repaint that. So it does have a little bit of an all time high in that six month there at 15. So it's got the capability of doing it. Let's go back to our year. It looks like that was really the move. So it is it, interesting. It's got the, the potential to make it back up there. This may have a play. This may have a short play if you're doing uh, some swing trading or you're doing some short-term trading and you really want to watch this closely, this might have some uh, a nice little uh, 3 to 5% move that you could be uh, taking in the next week. So all again, not investment advice, but it's something that you guys should be looking at. It's one we're tracking closely. And I like the fact that the evolution of this BOBA mainnet could be an, a, a really a big shot in the arm for what OMG is trying to do as, as a project and as an Ethereum bolt-on that could really make it uh, kind of a unique product, especially as we start to see more and more Ethereum evolution and adoption in the coming months and early into next year. So if you guys are listening in over on the podcast, again, best thing to do over there is subscribe, give us a couple of kudos if you can. But really the best thing to do is you want to see these charts. You want to be able to see these interviews with these CEOs and really look at more of what we do here on a visual side. Jump over to the YouTube channel. It's the best place to go. And also you can subscribe and get more information about what's happening here on Paul Barron Network, but also on TechPath and kind of our vision of where technology is going. And it's really what we cover. Obviously blockchain right now is 
consuming all the air because of just where we are in the bull run, but also in the development of what's happening in blockchain. There is such an urgency. And a friend of mine was talking about this the other day on his channel, and he talked about Tesla and their urgency to develop. It was almost like, you know, you're just racing against a ghost. That's what I feel like is happening in blockchain right now. So you've got to keep your eye on the ball. You've really got to pay attention. Hopefully a channel like this is the one that's going to help you guys do it. If you want to reach me, of course, you can do it on Twitter. It's at Paul Barron. And of course, leave some comments below. We want to hear your comments on what you want to see. Maybe some projects that you'd like to have on the show, whether it's a CEO, a founder, or maybe an development lead. Happy to jump in on that. We'll go do the work and we'll help you guys get yourself into the next level of blockchain innovation. Thanks again for stopping in. We'll see you next time right here on TechPath.